This procedure begins with the removal of the vitellin membrane from Xenopus oocytes in order to successfully form the gigaohm resistant seals necessary for patch clamp recordings. Once the on-cell patch clamp configuration has been obtained, suction can be applied to the pipette to gain electrical access to the cytoplasm of the cell in what is known as the whole cell patch configuration. The pipette tip can then be pulled away from the plasma membrane until it snaps back in order to obtain a small patch of membrane where the ectodomains of channels are exposed to the bath solution. This is known as the outside-out patch configuration. Hi, I'm Austin Brown from the laboratory of Dr. Miriam Goodman in the Department of Molecular and Cellular Physiology at Stanford University. And I'm Brandon Johnson, also from the Goodman Lab. In a previous video, we demonstrated how to make patch clamp pipettes and sharp electrodes for electrophysiology. Today, we will present an introduction to patch clamp recording of ion channels expressed in Xenopus oocytes. Since its development by Sackman and Nair in the late 1970s, patch clamp recording has become established as an essential technique for electrophysiological measurement of single or multiple ion channels in cells. So, let's get started. In order for the patch clamp pipettes to access the oocyte plasma membrane, the outer vitellin membrane must be removed. To do this, first prepare two sets of number 5 forceps. Slightly sharpen one set of the forceps with a file. Also, prepare a glass transfer pipette by trimming and fire polishing a 7-inch Pasteur pipette. 